How does the USA handle immigration for individuals with temporary protected status TPS? Temporary Protected Status TPS, is a temporary immigration status granted to eligible individuals from certain countries that are facing ongoing armed conflict, natural disasters, or other extraordinary conditions. The United States handles immigration for individuals with TPS through a specific process. Here is an overview of the USA visa process and immigration guidance for individuals with TPS. Initial designation. When the U. Government designates a country for TPS. Eligible individuals from that country can apply for TPS within the specified registration period. The eligibility requirements vary depending on the country, but generally include continuous residence in the U. Since a specific date and being physically present in the U. At the time of the designation. Application process. To apply for TPS. Individuals must complete and submit Form I-821. Application for temporary protected status, along with supporting documents, such as proof of identity and nationality. There may be filing fees associated with the application, but fee waivers are available for those who cannot afford to pay. Biometrics appointment. After submitting the TPS application, Applicants will receive a notice for a biometrics appointment. At this appointment, fingerprints, photographs, and signatures will be taken for background checks. Employment authorization. While TPS is granted, individuals can also apply for an employment authorization document, EAD, by submitting Form I-765. Once approved, this allows them to legally work in the United States during the TPS period. Periodic re-registration. TPS is usually granted for a specific period of time. Generally between 6 to 18 months. Before the expiration, individuals must re-register during the designated re-registration period to maintain their TPS status. This involves submitting updated forms and supporting documents. Travel authorization. Individuals with TPS may also be eligible to travel outside the United States through a separate application process. They can apply for a travel document called Advance Parole using Form I-131. It is important to obtain advance parole before traveling, as leaving the country without it may result in the loss of TPS. Termination or extension of TPS. TPS can be terminated for a particular country if the U. Government determines that the conditions that led to the designation have significantly improved. On the other hand, TPS can be extended if the conditions persist or worsen. It is crucial to stay informed about any changes in TPS status through official government channels. It is important to note that the specific procedures and requirements may vary depending on the country and the individual's circumstances. It is recommended to consult with an immigration attorney or seek guidance from authorized immigration service providers for detailed and up-to-date information regarding TPS in the USA. Visa process. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. And let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.